This is Wayne for FascinatingTech.com. Just received my new review item. A Camellia Exports Full HD Sports Cam from Toshiba. It's just come out of the box. Uh, the packaging. I thought I was on video, but I was actually on Focus Select. box is already pre-opened, so it looks like I'm about <coughs> at least the second reviewer. CD. Bit chewed up. Guarantee. Warranty. Quick start guide. Multiple languages. We have the camera itself in a waterproof housing, very similar to the one I've used for uh, removing the uh, eyesore camera. I wonder if this has the same issues as the other one, where the housing appears to be a bit too tight. Power button, powers up straight away. Image straight away, SD card installed, don't know what type, what size, T for telephoto, yep, yeah. W for wide angle, nice and smooth, menu button, and the play button, and I have the previous reviewer's uh, details on here. Raise those. Nice little point side button for power. Oops, not good to drop it. Battery compartment. Inside we have an SD card and a standard lithium-ion battery, which of course would be a bit difficult to get out. Um, inside we have a full-size HDMI connection and also a mini USB connector. I take it that's for charging as well. As well as transfer. Unit's quite light, a few marks on it. Fixed lens, could do with a clean. And a power button. It looks quite snazzy. In comparison, this is the ISOR Extreme. Feels a bit heavier. Similar sized lenses, although the Tsushima looks possibly a bit bigger. Devices are considerably different sizes. I actually like the format of the Tsushima. It's nice where all the connections are hidden away. We'll see what happens when it comes to charge and play. Similarly sized screens. The uh, Toshiba one looks quite a lot clearer, quite a lot brighter. And the eyesore screen looks okay at the moment. I'm expecting that to change in a few seconds. Toshiba auto powers off. Yeah, and the eyesore screen's just gone. I think that's down to the way things built. It's two halves and they're not. It doesn't appear strong. But, 
not too bad. I have to find out how to pronounce that Camille. Camellia. Turn off the ISIL. Also included are, as expected. I think these are all various attachments, so connected to the phone, uh, the camera itself. Yep, box full of attachments, screws and accessories. This one possibly housings. Wristband attachment, it looks like. I'll read up on it. Charger, yep. That, I dare say, goes on the wristband for able to control the device. That's handy. USB cable, connect to the PC, and plug adapters. I think the first thing I need to do is charge up the unit. I only have one bar on there. I'll clear off all the old videos, go through the instructions, and see what this baby can do. Hopefully the next video we'll have some more footage and a bit more analysis about the device itself. This is Wayne for Fascinating Tech. See you next time.